addition to being a qualified firefighter, the firemen are prepared to handle other emergencies, such as water rescue and recovery operations. The scuba divers are a group of firemen who have volunteered for extensive training in underwater diving operations. The scuba divers are primarily concerned with rescuing people from emergencies involving water, such as overturned boats, automobiles that have run into lakes or creeks, and recovery of bodies of drowning victims. These firemen cooperate with and assist other tax-supported agencies, such as police and sheriff departments, in underwater recovery. Items such as murder weapons are sometimes thrown into a lake, and the police request recovery of the weapon to be used as evidence. Stolen cars that are rolled into creeks and lakes are often recovered by firemen. We are pleased to see the spring rains come, giving life to sleeping vegetation and filling the lakes. However, when the welcome showers turn into heavy downpours, they cease to be beneficial and cause extensive property damage and sometimes the loss of lives. Many residents are forced to evacuate their homes because of high water. On-duty firemen assist in evacuations by helping the people from their homes and removing furniture and other household goods. Boats are strategically located throughout the city to be used in flood evacuations, drownings, rescues, and other emergencies involving waters. The helping hand of the firemen is within easy reach of those needing help. Flooding water often fills the basements of homes and commercial buildings. Firemen use high volume pumps to remove water from the basements and lower floors. Off-duty firemen volunteer their labor to groups such as Goodwill Industries. The fireman is concerned with good relations when dealing with people, whether casually or in a trying emergency. The news media visits stations to get information for feature stories or for special news releases. The Dallas Fire Department hosts Miss Flame contest winners from other cities. A variety of school groups tour the fire stations. Citizens stop by to ask directions. Each person will form his image of the fire department by his personal experience with individual firemen. The fireman may rescue a construction worker from a cave-in and within the same hour show a group of children a fire engine. The fireman must be prepared for the job, whether it be an emergency or a public relation activity. Each year, firemen volunteer to assist in voter registration by issuing registration certificates and fire stations are used as voting locations during elections. Dedication is a trait that is particularly necessary in the fire service because firemen deal with the safety of lives and the protection of property. Each year, just before Christmas, when fire hazards are most numerous, the fireman begins a campaign to make people more fire conscious. Many hours of work by devoted fire service personnel have eliminated thousands of fire hazards. It would be impossible to know the number of fires prevented, how many lives and how much property was saved by eliminating these hazards. However, the following facts related to fire prevention can be verified by fire department and city records. First, although the population has increased at the rate of about 2,000 people monthly for the last 10 years, the number of deaths caused by fire remains the same this year as it was 10 years ago. The yearly fire deaths average 34. Second, even though there are more structures now than there were 10 years ago, the fire loss has not increased and is still about $4 million yearly. If the members of the fire service had not been dedicated to their profession, the fire loss and number of fire deaths may have increased instead of showing a relative decrease. A number of firemen repair Christmas toys during spare time throughout the year and give them to underprivileged children. This project relies on volunteer labor. 
bicycles by the dozen and a large assortment of other toys are collected, put into new condition, and given to needy children. Many children in orphans' homes receive bicycles each year through the labors of some kind-hearted fireman. A sincere concern for the less fortunate, it is a desirable trait for any public servant. Another Christmas-related activity by firemen is to help decorate hard-to-reach Christmas trees for some children's hospitals. Although the snorkel is usually seen at tragic events, this mission is a happy one, as evidenced by those faces of those young patients. These children will remember the snorkel and firemen not as a fire rescue vehicle and crew, but as the friends who helped the nurses decorate their tree. Numerous desirable traits of a good fireman are demonstrated at the Texas State Fair. In the fall of each year, as the landscape bursts into vivid color, the gates open and thousands pour in to enjoy the beautiful scenes and exciting activity of the fair. The Million Dollar Midway offers thrilling rides to the young and the not so young. Fabulous living water displays during the day and at night attract acres of onlookers. Thousands stroll through the exhibits, which display everything from high roller pigeons to blue ribbon jellies. Nearly all are physically able to walk around the fairgrounds and take in the sights. Busy crowds pause to watch the marching bands and the colorful floats. These tumblers are certainly in prime physical condition and could walk from one end of the fairground to the other and still have plenty of energy left for another performance. But what about the children who want to see the fair as badly as anyone but can't because of physical or mental handicaps? Sad as it is, some will miss the entertainment, but many will be able to see the exhibits and ride some of the rides because of an understanding and unselfish group of men in firemen uniforms. But after those firefighting clothes are turned in for the last time, what happens to this man who has devoted a lifetime of service with the fire department? Some take life easy and enjoy their deserved leisure time doing what they never had time to do before. Many take part-time jobs to supplement their pensions. Most retirees keep in contact by attending the monthly meetings of the Retired Police and Firemen Association. The retired fireman continues to get a deep personal satisfaction from helping others. There are many needs for the type of man that wants to help others, and if health permits, the retired fireman will respond. During this film, qualities have been illustrated that would be desirable for an ideal fireman. The idealistic qualities are ability to get along with others, high intelligence, mechanical aptitude, above average physical strength, courage, high morals, courteous nature, initiative, thorough job knowledge, devotion, and a cooperative and helpful spirit. To expect each fireman to possess all of these noble qualities would be unrealistic. And by no stretch of the imagination do we want to imply that each fireman has all these traits and abilities. However, each one does possess some of them. The more of these qualities the fireman has, the safer your city will be. It is the goal of your fire department to continue to develop men of quality, the best firemen possible. <laughs>